So, let us now come to the main topic of today's class and that is looking at looking at the freeze groups or freeze symmetry. Freeze is a just a technical name is actually an architectural freeze of um, in the buildings you, you will be seeing that in the top of architectural building or beautiful temples or so there will be patterns repeating along one direction. So, the freeze pattern are two dimensional patterns pattern is two dimensional, but the translational symmetry is one dimensions. It is repeating in one dimensional 2D pattern with 1D translation. architecture is one example, so, uh, any kind of border or you can call it a sari, sari border pattern is an example from textile and these are uh, this example I have uh, collected from internet by searching sari border. So, you will find many such beautiful example and you can see beautiful peacocks and if you look at the uh, pattern is repeating of course there are different patterns there are three patterns here the top border the bottom border and in between there are this bigger pattern so let us focus only on the bigger pattern at the moment not looking at the top and bottom although they are also interesting in some sense or let us look at the top uh, let us look at this border only let us look at this border So, there are these little peacocks and if you select any point as your lattice point, then identical points close to each peacock will be your lattice point. So, that is the translation direction. So, the peacocks these little peacocks are being repeated by these little translations let us call them A. So, it has a translational symmetry, but when you come to the central border you find that it is having more than translational symmetry yes one. So, if I look at now again let us say that I take let us take I take this point as my lattice point then the next equivalent point is there and these are the only two equivalent points now the third point and will be exactly on the edge of my border but in your mind's eye you can repeat this and see that the pattern is repeating. So, the whole peacock is a two dimensional object in this figure peacock is a re real peacock is a three dimensional object, but this is sketch is a two dimensional. So, and the, these two dimensional peacock are being repeated in one dimension. So, that that is what we mean by 2D pattern with 1D translation. So, it will be called a freeze pattern, but this second pattern the middle pattern has more symmetry it seems compared to the first one why mirror you have noticed correctly. So, it has these nice mirror planes passing right in the middle of the two peacocks. This was not there in the top top border. So, you can see that all borders or all frees will have translational symmetry, but beyond translational symmetry they can have 
additional symmetries. Is this is this all the symmetry of this uh, peacock pattern or you have something more? There is a head on mirror, but there is a tail end mirror also. I am drawing it with different color simply to emphasize that they, in a sense they are different mirror in the pattern if you see. The red mirror where the peacocks are meeting face to face, the green mirror the peacocks are meeting tail to tail. So, mirror to mirror separation if you see is half the lattice translation. Is this an accident or is this some sort of a symmetry formula? It will turn out that this is a symmetry formula. You cannot in this figure you found that there was this accidental mirror in between. You tried to put peacocks face to face to have a mirror, but you cannot avoid that peacocks will have mirror at tail to tail also and you can show this by the use of sides operator which we were just discussing. So, we will come to that. Let us look at one more pattern and try to find out its symmetry. What are the symmetries here? There is a horizontal mirror very good which was not there in the previous one. In the peacock figure there was only vertical mirrors, but now you have a horizontal mirror. Any other? Vertical mirrors are also there. And again if you see the periodicity wise, yeah. So, the periodicity wise the translation is from here to here. If you look at if you try to put the lattice points, if you put a lattice point here the next lattice point will be there from the pattern feature you can see things are repeating at that distance. In between you do not have the identical feature. But in terms of mirror you can see that again the mirror is translating halfway. There is one more symmetry operation which we are missing in this where intersection, intersection of vertical and horizontal. So, that is also a symmetry principle whenever two mirrors intersect at 90 degree you cannot avoid to have a two fold rotation. So, that will also be there. So, you can see that in some sense this border is richer in symmetry than the previous two borders. So, we can rank it in symmetry the topmost border was only having translation was having least symmetric. The peacock pattern was having vertical mirror little bit more symmetric and this one is having vertical horizontal as well as two fold rotations. So, the question is can we classify or can we classify all possible borders. How many different kinds we have already seen three examples three three kinds of border how many different kinds of borders you can have. How many different freeze groups the other question is how are the symmetry operation combining why vertical mirrors occur at t by 2 where t is the translational symmetry. So, to answer the first question first of all let us see 
what are the symmetry operations we have we have with us what are the ingredients which we can combine to get different patterns so since we since we are insisting that we have a border and border means one trans, one translation one dimensional translational symmetry so we have a line and symmetry operation should leave that line fixed yeah it should map the line to line so what kind of rotations are possible possible rotations If you apply a four fold, so where will it rotate? So it will make this line a horizontal line, a vertical. So then, and since this was a translation, and a four fold demands that this also is a translation. So now automatically, you are having a two dimensional periodicity. So your restriction of the phrase group. that it should have one dimensional translational periodicity is getting violated if you allow for four fold so when we we will discuss this kind of patterns also that is the two dimensional patterns with two dimensional periodicity that is the pattern of tiles or mm, any two dimensional say let us say graphene crystal so two dimensional patterns can have four fold but one dimensional pattern cannot have four fold six fold will rotate it by 60 degree you will have the same issue so since i have to confine my translations into one dimension only yeah the only allowed rotation is when it either no rotation one fold or a 180 degree which will keep line to line and you will still remain in one dimensions so only allowed rotation is two fold and you you can allow mirrors we have already seen mirrors but what kind of mirrors vertical and horizontal mirror either has to coincide with the line or mirror has to be perpendicular to the line if it is at any angle to the line then again it will tilt the line into some other direction and you will start having periodicity in that direction which we don't want we are restricting ourselves to one dimension so either a parallel mirror or a perpendicular mirror only two kinds of mirror. so only these three ingredients are there which we want to combine with translation so let us see so let us do it one by one so suppose this is a 1d lattice and of course you you saw in the peacock pattern in the most minim minimalist way if you don't want any symmetry you can go without symmetry without symmetry means only the translational symmetry so you choose a motif which has no symmetry so let us re recall our work with the uh, english alphabet so a letter without any symmetry let us say the letter p so if i place p at each lattice point if i repeat p i don't get any two fold any horizontal mirror any vertical mirror only translations let us call this our first group now suppose the other ingredient which we have is the rotation and the only rotation is a two fold so 
So, let us try to create a pattern with a two fold symmetry. To create a pattern with two fold symmetry, I will need a motif with two fold symmetry. And which letter has the two fold symmetry? Hmm? Z. So, let us take this Z uh, as our motif because that will automatically give me the two fold symmetry and place at each lattice point. So, translational symmetry was anyway there, but now interestingly since the motif itself is a two fold symmetry. Now, when I am saying two fold symmetry and I am placing although I selected a motif of two fold symmetry, but when I am putting two fold now in the pattern these two folds are of the pattern not of the motif. If only locally the motif is two fold symmetry, but not the whole pattern I will not count that, but you can see actually because the motif is having two fold symmetry they are inducing the two fold symmetry of the entire line entire pattern because if you draw this pattern on a tracing paper and flip the pattern 180 degree. So, the whole line will go from one place to other place this z will rotate by 180 degree to this z about this two fold. So, when I am drawing these two fold I am meaning meaning that that not only of the local z there, but of the entire line. Can you see other symmetry emerging from this operation between two letters not easy to see. So, you will have to experiment with it drawing it on tracing paper and then you will find that if you rotate by 180 degree about the central points there also there are two folds. You cannot avoid it, you cannot avoid it and why cannot you avoid it? So, sites is telling you that you cannot avoid it. So, let us look at uh, let us do a sites analysis of this pattern. What we are saying that how to combine let us combine a trans because this pattern see and the when we say these are freeze groups. So, all operations are actually forming group. So, for any any two different operation the combination of the operation should also be present. So, we are saying the translation t are present and the rotation two fold is present then the combination of translation and rotation should also be present in the group for the symmetry group property to be satisfied. So, what is the combination of a translation and a two fold rotation this is what we are asking. So, the translation is t 0. or let us call it a 0 because in lattice parameter wise we use the translation a, a and b. So, a 0 is the translation in the x axis and the rotation is a two fold, two fold about the origin. Now, how will you describe two fold about the origin? So, 180 degree will rotate x to minus, minus x minus 1 0 and y to minus, minus y 0 minus 1. So, that is the rotation part. So, the net part the combined operation combined operation in sites notation sites notation is 
the matrix part is 0, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1, the translation part is A0. So, this is your this is your symmetry operation, the combined operation. Let us call this some R. Now, what is it? It is a combination of a rotation and a translation. Okay. So, both are of type 1, both of them do not change handedness. So, combining rotation and translation you cannot get reflection, you can either get rotation or you get translation. So, translation will not leave any point fixed, we have seen, rotation will leave some point fixed. So, our question that is this, so it cannot be reflection because it is of type 1, we are combining two type 1 operation. And we have seen that we have only rotation, vertical mirror, horizontal mirror and translation out of which horizontal and vertical mirrors are type 2. So, the only possibility of for this is to either be a translation or be a rotation or be a two fold. Rotation also is only one possibility. So, it is a two fold rotation. but we, we know the property the translation will not leave any fixed point two fold rotation will leave a fixed point. So, let us look at so we can fix R that what is R a combination of two fold rotation with a translation by distance A by just trying to find its fixed point. So, what are the fixed point of R? Fixed point of R means that x is equal to R x. After applying R, whatever point is not moved by R is the fixed point. So, let us say that the components are x y r is minus 1 0 0 minus 1 comma a 0 and we are applying it to x y. we know how to multiply the sides operator. So, we multiply by the matrix, we multiply the column vector x y with the matrix and add a 0. This gives you minus x minus y plus a 0 this then gives you minus x plus a and minus y. So, x y if x y is a fixed point of r this should be satisfied. Now, two vectors are equal when their components are equal. 
So, x is equal to minus x plus a which gives you x is equal to a by 2 and y is equal to minus y which gives you y is equal to 0. So, this is the fixed point. this is the fixed point of r a by 2 0. That means, although I am combining a translation of a look we started with this red two fold which was the two fold rotation and we combined it with the translation a this which was taking me to the next red two fold, but the combination of the operation is actually generating a fixed point at a by 2 and what is that? That is the midpoint and we have already decided that it is a two fold rotation. If it is a fixed point because it was type 1 it was either translation or, or a two fold rotation. Translation could not have left any point fixed. So, we should not have got any solution. If it was a pure translation we would not have got any solution but we are getting a solution that a by 2 0 point is fixed. So, this is a two fold rotation at a by 2. Okay. So, that is the reason why although we decided that we will give two fold motif we will take a two fold motif which was having these red two folds and translated it by a, but at the midpoints at a by 2 these blue two folds got generated. So, if this analysis would have given me some inconsistency, okay, sometimes it can give you an inconsistent equation which you cannot solve. Okay means uh, you will get x is equal to a and x is equal to uh, 2a let us say. We will get we will get some example like that. So, then we will say that there is no fixed point and if there is no fixed point then it would have been translation. Yeah, we will not get a fixed point. So, here we assume, but we were not guaranteed, we assume that x y is a fixed point for this r and at the moment r was let us say a black box to me I was not knowing that r is a two fold rotation or a ref it would, could have turned out to be a reflection, but reflection we were ruling out because we know that we have written r by combining a rotation and a translation. So, that cannot give me a reflection things like that. So, this was our second group. Now, let us construct the third freeze group. So, what we did? Our ingredients were two fold rotation, horizontal mirror, vertical mirror and uh, translation. So, translation anyway is there and we begin with the translation and now we have combined the two fold translation with two fold rotation no no symmetry the first group two fold rotation the second group so now let us play with the mirrors we, i have the mirror so let us apply the horizontal mirror so i say that in this pattern i'll have a horizontal mirror so i should select a motif which has horizontal mirror hmm? B oh, hmm? A A has a vertical mirror A has a vertical mirror. So, B is fine C is fine D E K K I like. So, let us do it with K. So, let me place K. So, this does not seem to create any more two fold or any vertical mirrors or something it remains a horizontal. 
horizontal mirror. Now we have seen the pattern that what to do. What will you do in fourth? Vertical Apply vertical mirror. What motif you will select? A. A. The first letter. You have a vertical mirror, you have a vertical mirror, is it all you have generated? This is again the same thing. Now, I leave this as an exercise, you can do again a sites operation, operator analysis of this, combine a mirror with a translation, you will generate mirror at A by 2. No way I can place a nice mirror symmetric A at the lattice point and say that the midpoints will not have mirror. I do not have that freedom. So, they will get mirror on their own. Buy one, get one free. Well, this is not a mirror, so let me not confuse by drawing that line. What can be the other one? Both vertical and horizontal, which we saw already in the peacock. No, not the peacock, the next pattern we had seen, both horizontal and vertical. So, this becomes our fifth phrase group. This is all we can have if we limit ourselves to twofold vertical mirror and horizontal mirror.